camera. There we go. Are you happy enough with the? Can you see it? Not really. But look okay. Yeah. Tell me. Oh, of course you look fab for Christ's sake. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and look who we got here, I'm mean, the boss lady herself. Hello everybody. This has been super like highly requested, like so many people were like, oh my god, you just have to do a video. I was like, oh my god, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 a fun get ready with me. I'm gonna paint her eyeballs, we're gonna play with a little bit of colour because you love your warm. Yeah, I just stick to my neutral browns. I never step outside my comfort zone, so this is exciting <laughs> and different. Not today, not today. <laughs> we're still gonna do browns, we're gonna do like a pop of colour, like a wearable kind of look. Yeah. yeah, wearable but still fun at the same time. So, yeah, you know, let's get started. Let's do it. What are you up to today after this? Then go back in and catch up with the girls on new products that are coming down the line, the marketing plans, and then I gotta go home and take the builders out of my house and oh, yeah. <laughs> home oh, to my doggies. Oh, business. Oh, you got a new dog as well. Oh, yeah. Pixie. Oh, so I know. Yeah. She's the light of my life. So, what's the feedback on your palette been like? All good? Uh -huh. It's been amazing. It's been so good. We were just saying that literally I haven't got like anyone saying anything bad, which is which is brilliant. Which Same is with our side. Crazy, mm -hmm. first of all. I didn't think that, you know, well there's always a little bit of negativity somewhere, but mm -hmm. literally you none. Know, so it's been great so good. far. My voice is still gone, by the way, guys. I sound like a man still, so ignore. She came in today, still not feeling well. I Trooper. know, I know. All right here. As long as I don't give it to you, that's Yeah, good. I know. I'm just gonna like put a mask on. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just going in with a little bit of savior and prophecy. So we're sticking with the warm brands for now, but then we're gonna add a pop of color in a second. Nice. Yeah, it's a bit different for me. Oh my god, I love the right inside of the palette. Like they're yes. my favorite, and unruly is definitely one of yes. my favorite colors. It's, even though it is a color, like you were saying, you can make a pink, you can make yeah. it like burgundy. I can use it. Yeah. When you kind of layer it with browns, mm -hmm. it's so wearable. Oh, it's, it's so amazing. Beautiful. The question that people were asking a lot, they were like, "How much input like did I have in it, and did oh, you wow. have in it, and whatnot?" And I was like, "I think you can kind of." Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, it you was totally see. yours. You yeah. ran with it. But um, I love that, and that's why I was so like happy to work with you guys as well, because yeah. you were literally just like whatever you wanted do absolutely that's yeah. fine i think it's that's your so creation important. and i wasn't going to step in yeah. and overrule that you know what you like you yeah. know what your followers like you mm -hmm. know what colors you can play with a lot so yeah. it was totally you and yeah exactly at it now, you can use the right hand side so yeah. i'll stick with that exactly <laughs> people were asking as well like what made you want to work with me or like us work together but i think you knew kind of what i would be going for anyway yeah. i kind of find it's nice to bring in a different type of makeup artist and collaborate with them with a brand because yeah. it offers different personalities and different mm -hmm. types of makeup looks so yeah. i'm plain browns warm browns mm -hmm. like my hot fire palette yeah exactly and i knew bringing someone as creative um as you into the brand that you would develop something that i would never be able to explain or use yeah. <laughs> for my followers so yeah. it was just bringing a new personality in and you just you killed it oh, you nailed it yeah you're like so so bloody easy to work with can i say it was <laughs> great i just got the, the same with you it was so easy to work with it was actually a lot easier than than than, than i expected because yeah no what i expected to be honest. i didn't know either really no. because you know you are the biggest you know, makeup artists of our generation in oh, Ireland, stop. in my opinion, <laughs> and the world. <laughs> Go, getting there, going there. Oh, to be the next uh, James Charles, uh, if you're watching. Hopefully. <laughs> and then, yeah, I can't believe you are all pals. So I tell know. me about the YouTube world. Like, what are you all? Like, we just talk regularly? Um, well, I'm only obviously coming into it a little bit more now, but I've met like a few of like. My obviously, kids, Manny, and Manny, anyway. I know, yeah, Manny. And I met James. Um, I, everyone, I think everyone wants there to be like drama, and everyone wants me to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, everyone's like horrible, but that's not that's not the reality. How it is. Sorry to bore you. This year's just been bloody mental. It's been great for you, I have to say, but it's been so exciting to watch you grow and the oh, opportunities that have come on your doorstep, like the Manny MUA thing, where this is like, I'm just like so proud. Uh, I, there I, she yeah, is, rocking the, rocking the world over there <laughs> yeah. for those Irish. She really felt like, because I know like people say that Irish people are like very begrudging and all that, but I do feel like when it comes down to it, like they're crazy. They're supportive. Oh absolutely. yeah, well, like they're the reason why I was over there, do you know? Absolutely, and like they're so proud when you step outside of Ireland and you go and you do big things like yeah. that. They're like, oh my God, that's our girl. Yeah, exactly. So it was amazing to see. I felt so proud. Oh, thank you. Whenever I actually think back on this year, I'm like, she's has been a bit mental, hasn't it? Mm. You tend to forget though. Yeah, you do. But they always say, don't look back, keep going forward, just yeah. keep plugging it, building yourself, yeah. building your brand. That's true. But it's the same for you though, because yeah. I was just saying to you that like, you have set the mark for I feel like every Irish influencer. On my part. No, you don't like, you're like, mm, but like, so no, it is, you have though. Uh, <laughs> but it's just let me a wee 50 <laughs> It's amazing to see, and that's another thing I said in my video, I was like, I wanted to work with 
so like an Irish brand. Yeah, you did, and you and you were so passionate about it when we approached you, and yeah. and I know you know how much hard work we put into the brand. And oh, it's 100%. not just slapping names on palettes no. and throwing anything out there. We believe in quality, you know, and we believe in good, affordable pricing and. We really do listen to our customer. And I think oh, that's you so do, important. Like, like you. And that's when I was thinking, who do I want to collaborate with next? Because obviously we did uh, eyelashes with Lauren Pope. Yeah. And I was like, Kaylee, she's Irish. She's killing it. She's so creative. You've got a totally different makeup, you know, like avenue than yeah. me. Because I'm so like browns yeah, and orange. So it's, it's, it's different. It was different. Yeah. And it just worked. That's what I said. It was like the perfect kind of... Perfect match. Combo. Yeah. yeah. If we could go back, was there anything that we would change? I was like, no, not for me anyway. Yeah, no. I'm literally yeah. exactly. I, this has been a breeze. <laughs> it has been a breeze. So Feedback's bad. been amazing. So on our side, it's been wonderful. I was wondering what it was like on your side, but no, it's great. Absolutely unreal. Nikki tutorials, rocking those black heart oh, lashes. You've got them on today, it's man. Look at you, girl. Yeah, um, yeah that's that was ridiculous. And I actually think that's what made me lose my voice. Was when I <laughs> you were screaming, like, running around the yeah. house. But it's not so exciting when you see that. You see your product oh. on somebody like that, like uh, as big as Nikki tutorials. Surreal. Like yeah, it is crazy. That's what it is. Too. But sure, I couldn't imagine what it's like for you though. This is literally your brand, your video. Oh, look for us, it was it was amazing because obviously you know seeing so Sue there, you know when she was talking about it on YouTube. Was incredible, yeah. But you know, you it's your contact and it's your creation, so I was even more happy for you. Oh, I was like, I'm yeah. so happy for Kaylee because that, so nice. we don't see it like oh, obviously it's so soon, but we don't see it like oh, so soon, so soon. Yeah. It's Kaylee's product yeah. for so soon. That's so it. Do you say that all the time, you yeah. Do. It was more about you and yeah. bringing in your flair to our brand, and, and we learned so much from you over the last year as yeah. well. You know, for sure. I love like helping and everything anywhere that I can help as well. Yeah. I love to do that, so yeah. But see, this was such a good experience for me though because it was great for me to see like the whole behind the scenes of everything yeah. and how it actually works because no one bloody well shows these things. No, because you see how much is actually involved. I was the saying true, to Siobhan, yeah. Kaylee never had a bloody camera out of her hand. <laughs> yes. How did you remember it half at the time? That's because true. Because how could affect the cameras in the car or the cameras at home? Yeah. He literally filmed everything and it really brought a full picture of how it's yeah. done so much to it. And I do think people don't see that. So I it was know. lovely for you to document what you did. I thought, this is incredible. It is hard. I tell you what, though. Yeah, it gave me a whole different... Admiration? Yes, yeah. there we go. A whole new like thing for you and for anyone who does their own brand because it's, it, there is a lot of hard work. I tell you that. It is. I was bloody well <laughs> shitting myself. Yeah, that's probably the hardest part. It's the yeah. before you even bring the product out, like that, yeah. like thinking, oh God, what are people... Putting I know something out of the world. That's... I know, yeah. It's like, to an extent, it's like, you know, you don't give a shite about what people think. But then I know. At the same time, it's like, but this is my babe. This is what that's I what love. Is. And when you love it so much, yeah. it's someone's like mm, and you're like well and you've no control over what anyone will say or yeah. think and that's the hard part mm -hmm. it's actually funny because the the launch of it kind of creeped up on me because i was busy like filming things i just didn't yes, really think and i remember I like, oh crap it's, you're like it's here it's next week i was like shut you give myself time to but like, good that yeah. can be good sometimes not to give yourself too much time to think yeah and that's why i just keep going 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 with the brand i don't sit down and think about it because i think no. i'm scaring myself you'll make mistakes you'll that make, weren't there yeah that's what you yeah. do because you make things up in your head it's yeah. like anything it's like a friendship a relationship it's anything you, you make up yeah the problems things. half the time you yeah <laughs> everything yeah no look thank god it's all been a success and i know exactly well done on everything oh thank you well i couldn't have done it well, you only that you were so bloody easy going <laughs> as well oh, which is great so Just people are asking you questions about the real so sue me oh quit that was the question it was like what suzanne really like i was like would you what what well first of all i'm hardly gonna stand here but like she's, she's a bitch every time anyone asks me that about suzanne i always say she's so sound like you're just you're sound like oh, do you know what i mean you. no but it's like i don't know what people think i'm the same on camera that i am off camera i am the same and people do ask like my hairdresser and anyone who i home around a lot what is she really like and oh, i don't know yeah. what they're expecting them to say because i'm yeah. just a normal girl yeah. you know well, i get that too my nail lady is always getting asked what she really like well like, do she has a mask that she pulls off at like 12 <laughs> one every night <laughs> And then pops this like green face. That's like that's people nearly looking for something negative though. I yeah. Feel like and it's like you're not gonna you're looking for it, but you're not gonna get it. No one's perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. You know what I mean. But exactly. at the same time, no one's doing any bad or wrong in the world no. of influencers or makeup. You no, know. No, exactly. But, it comes um, to bloody makeup, Joe. You know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They like to have a little moan, and that's okay. We can yeah. take a moan. We can take a moan. Well, you have to, or else we wouldn't be here. Wouldn't be here. I tell you that. Well, I was saying to you earlier as well. You've kind of taken a step back from yeah social, social media a little bit. Yeah, but I have. I can understand that completely. Think of any big like business person, or no, no, any big business company, makeup company. Do yeah. you know the owner of them? No, no. You don't know them because yeah. it's like so much work goes into yeah. it, and like you doing that, and yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing. I didn't want to be the one to have to always 
promote the product and to ensure it's sold. I want to be able to stand back and have South Sue by speak Suzanne Jackson itself. speak for itself. Yeah. Be a brand. Be like, you know, Makeup Revolution or, yeah. you know, Inglot Cosmetics. All of those brands that just speak for themselves. And yeah. thankfully, we're getting there, you know, yeah. slowly but surely because yes, we're developing are. a brand over the last three years. But, um, yeah, no, I have taken a step back. Like, I'm 34. You know, I'm, I'm married over a year. We just bought our forever home. You yeah. know, things have changed for me since I started eight years ago. Yeah. And I don't want to share every single thing online anymore. Yeah. You know, you do become a little bit more private as you grow older. Yeah. And, you know, I've changed as well, I'm sure. That's it. That's 100%. You know? But I just think it's incredible, like, everything you're doing. Because I think anyone who's not, like, business... I'm not businessy. Let's just get you that are. straight. I'm, she I'm, is. I'm coming mm -hmm. into the businessy world. But, like, anyone in, like, business, like, would, like, appreciate everything you've done. Like, you've literally built yourself from, like, nothing. Like, this is yeah. it's built off you. Yeah. And that's what I... Yeah, it was literally nothing. I just was part-time receptionist working in 98 FM. You know, um, just doing admin as yeah. a job and just had a bit of time on my hands. Just grew my business. Although I did start from nothing. I didn't get any handouts. I don't have any rich mum and dad that kind of you know, backed me or helped me or anything like that. I just had a little bit of passion, a little bit of drive and just res resilience. Just and that's keep her lit. And that's what I mean. Keep, keep going. lit. Exactly. <laughs> like, how could you not be inspired by that? Like to know that you've literally, mm -hmm. like I said, you built it off you like... Yeah, I just think that's crazy. Like, how can anyone not think like I could take on the blue world if I want to right now? Yeah, I think everyone should think like that. Yeah. People always say to me, how can I keep motivated? How can I be inspired? You know, watch, you know, um, read books, listen to podcasts, watch documentaries and learn from the other people that have been there before us, their mistakes, yeah. the mistakes they made, exactly. things that regrets that they might have along the way. And that's the only way I can tell people to get motivated and get inspired, you know? Yeah. But you have to have drive, passion, and ambition. If you want to be successful successful in the world of business, in a very yeah. competitive world, then you've got to have drive, ambition, and passion. Very true. Yeah, there you go. You heard it now, ladies <laughs> and gents, little entrepreneurs popping up now. I don't know where <laughs> But it's great to see because the younger yeah. generation, my God, like, I mean, even when you look at James Charles, he's like 19. Oh, I know. He I scares like, me. At 19, I didn't even know Paris from my elbow. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, who am I? Oh, okay. Well, you've been around in the blogging world actually for a long like time. Now. Like I said, you were like the first one to bloody well do it. Mm -hmm. But like, what have you seen has changed like since you started? That's, oh, that's a really good question. Go me. I love that, that question. A, good question. a lot of people today look at influencers of they want that life. They mm -hmm. think that, you know, the glamorous life, you know, the free product is what they want. Mm -hmm. When in hindsight, I didn't start this. Uh, career path for those wants. I yes. just had a passion for yeah. blogging, I had a bit of spare time in my hands, you know, I was just interested in just sitting down and writing. And even though my grammar and my spelling are not A1 because people <laughs> correct me all the time, I just loved writing. Yeah. I always loved writing in school and just expressing myself in writing more yeah. so than talking. And I just started off with a passion. That's what it was. You weren't, you I didn't wasn't start started for the money yeah. or the fame or I want a nice car yeah. or I want free clothes or I want to be like 100,000 followers on Instagram. Sure, Instagram yeah. wasn't even around at the time. Yeah. This was eight years ago. It was just literally passion. And I think with the industry nowadays, people are getting into things for the wrong reasons. I 100% agree. You know, I and, really agree with and that. And sometimes then people can ruin it for other people. Yeah. You know, down the line. Yeah. So you just kind of have to make sure that what you're doing is for you and for the reasons that you want to do it. And the question I always get is like, oh, how do I grow more followers? And like, mm -hmm. what I always say back to people or someone who's a makeup brand being like, oh, you know, it's not growing or whatever. I'm like, mm -hmm. you're focusing on the wrong thing. Absolutely. The As wrong like, thing. You need to focus on becoming the best makeup artist you can be and just post your journey. And exactly. If it's meant for you, it'll it will happen. Trying to improve your skill by watching others. Being that yourself. Be being yourself. And yeah. also stay in your lane. Doesn't matter Don't what Mary be, down yeah. the road is doing. <laughs> Mary, <laughs> Mary, it doesn't. You know, Mary doesn't care what you're doing. Yeah. That's why she's growing. Water your own grass that's where yeah. it's always going to be greener though it is very hard though with social media in general i of feel course. like it's making everyone like everyone even people who aren't even wanting to get into social media but people just feel like they're not mm -hmm. doing enough mm -hmm. well it's because people are only posting the best parts listen i do it yeah. We all do it. Everyone does it. Everyone does it. Yeah. You're, you're not going to post a picture of yourself with your head in the loo when, no. you, when you're sick. You know? You're going to yeah. post a picture of yourself two days later when you're feeling fresh after getting a blow dry. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So you just have to say to yourself, this isn't real life on Instagram. Even though on stories, I do believe people are real life. Yeah. You know? So you just have to look at it and go, she's doing great. I'm really happy for her. But you know what? This, she's going to motivate me to do even better. Use it as motivation. Yeah. That's 100% what not I Not just comparing because... You might look at a girl and think, oh my God, she's so pretty. She's got a boyfriend, she's got a house. But she could be miserable. 
Or oh, she 100%. could be a horrible person. Yeah. You know, so you don't know these things. So don't ever assume. Keep in your own lane and keep your own focus and try not to get, you know, too deterred. Consumed, Consumed that's, that's the, the right word. word. Deterred, um, I don't even know if that's a word. Okay. <laughs> we'll make we it a word. We just created deterred today. Deterred. <laughs> I always go for my own little words. Like very so do I, it's embarrassing. <laughs> no, it's like I need to read a bloody dictionary. <laughs> yeah, I know. Good. Word, I know, it's gross and I have to. <gasps> Literally, and you're in a bloody... I know, and I have to wear this because I'm not fucking yeah. down. Look, I'm, I've got instant to hear, look. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm blue. <laughs> <laughs> you're like the queen of fake tan, I feel like. I'm always watching your stories mm. whenever you're posted about it. I'm like, mm, teach me please. Elle asks, are there big plans for So Sue by SG in 2019? Love you guys. Oh, thank you, love your dog. <laughs> Big plans, absolutely. We've got so much going on. We're gonna try and complete the face. So that will kind of give you a hint Ooh, or two. Oh, sneaky. Yes. <laughs> and we might reel Kaylee back in for oh, a product hello, or two. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> How long have you both been doing makeup for? So I've only been doing it, like, what age am I now? I'm 22, so I finished college when I was 19, so three years. And then you were what? Yeah, three years. I feel like okay, I've been... I feel like you've been around for, like, ages. Five years yeah, or something. Literally. I'm like, I feel like I've been watching you for so long. I but I see I've heard about you for so long before you even got really into the YouTube. Like, though, I'm a big believer in, like, everything happens for, for a reason. reason. And, like, Serendipity like and stuff, yeah, me too. Definitely. Yeah, and the secret is a massive part of success. Like, yes. you can visualise... Like I remember I Big used to time. visualize walking into a nice house with like the smell of the house yeah. for years. I'm like, what my dream house would look like. Yeah. And I never thought I'd get there because it's just a fantasy. You know, know? and now I'm so proud of what we've achieved and that smell that I always envisioned is in my house. Like it's crazy, I swear. It sounds bloody mental, no, I get it. it. But I you always have to did. Yeah. I was like, no, no, look, it's someone else is saying it, so I don't sound like a hippie. <laughs> I, wait a minute, you met Chris Jenner. You yeah. met her at the fashion show. Oh my god, it was mental. And she's like identical like in real life. Not the way like sometimes you think people might not look like that in real life. Yeah. She looks the exact same on TV as she does in real life. She's someone, I think she's probably like the smartest. Oh god, she's business woman. Business ruthless. Woman of she, all time. Yeah. As like I see this meme, it was like once. Chris Jenner's my manager, it's over for all you hoes. I was it's like, yes, true. isn't it? Victoria's Secret Fashion Show was something I, like, growing up, it was like the thing. Oh, it was amazing to see, amazing to sit there, like two rows up from Chris Jenner. You know, Kendall was right there. Madness. Bella Hadid. It was madness. But again, they're just normal girls. Very true. You know? Very, very true. Oh, um, yeah, my left eye is actually shorter than my right eye. Is it? Yeah. It's yes. the same as me. I don't know. Come on, it's over here. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So, what colours did you use on me today from your palette? We went for other. Look, I got too carried away chatting. As I always. know. What are we like? Always. I forgot the camera was on. I know. The time. I know. You save your prophecy oath. A little bit of thin chaos then. So the cool like petrol color on the lid, but I popped a little bit of aura on top. Again, see that's the color yeah. you look at, and you'd be like, "What the hell am I yeah. doing with that? Like where?" I know, but, but um, you've made it look fab. It's kind of like greenish, like that's yeah. why. Yeah, I don't literally take the tiniest amount. That's why I wanted to add the colors, like the mad colors that I did add. I added them for a reason because mm -hmm. it's like you can mix them with. Mm -hmm. The ordinary ones. Well, I'm actually learning now to use a few of those Literally. left hand side colours that scared me at the beginning. I know, so exactly. Exactly. I'll be taking that tip away. So there's the finished look for you guys. I really hope you enjoy getting ready with us. And thank you for having me in. And for everything. Everything you've bloody done for me this oh, year. Is sweet. Sweet. Was a club. Well, thank you so much for coming on my channel and for again having me in here and yeah. for being like the perfect model. You're welcome. Honestly, you could like dunk her face in eyeshadow and look great. <laughs> so it's it, it was an easy job for me. Pleasure so working much. with her. I'm delighted that you finally did my makeup. I know, finally, finally. yeah. And who knows, we might do more. Yes, maybe. Maybe so, maybe so. If you guys have any more questions, be sure to leave them down below. I'll leave yeah. all Suzanne's uh, links and everything where you can buy all the products and whatnot down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Kid.